Hello my lovely friends here on YouTube. You're all very welcome back to my humble little channel. And I'm doing a, well I think we call it a three in one here. It's a three in one lads. It's my January favourites coupled with a face and an outfit of the day. And there's a method to my madness here. We'll start with the face of the day. Actually we'll do a combo, the face of the day and the January favourites because it's all kind of combined together because these are products I'm loving for this month. And uh, oh, I've got the hair dyed, lads. Well, what I actually did was put a colour in myself. I'll tell you about that in just a minute. <laughs> so we'll start with the face of the day, stroke January favourites. Uh, the base I'm enjoying at the moment is by Rimmel, and it's the Wake Me Up Foundation. Now, I have it in the colour... Does it even say on it? True Ivory, which is 103. Now, I will be posting a review on this product, but not right now. Maybe I'll film the review later. I just uh, haven't filmed it yet, but I will be. I'm loving this foundation so far. I'll uh, discuss it with you guys at a later stage, and I will be posting a review, and if I get a chance, also an application job for this as well. Over top of this, I have been setting it with... It's by Essence, it's 001 Translucent, Translucent Skin Finish. This is what the product looks like. I'm sorry the way that the lighting on this camera will be picking this guy up. But it's a matte finish translucent powder. And I've been using it to set the wake up, wake up and make me glow go. Yay. Reminds me of something that was sung by Wham about 20 years ago. Like, yeah. Anyway, we won't go there. <coughs> I'm not singing on camera. And then the blush I've been absolutely loving, lads. And this blush is gorgeous. And it, it was in my favourites last month, and it'll probably be in my favourites from now until hell freezes over. Because I really do like this colour on me. It's by Jane. It's 01 Blushing Baby Doll. Now it's kind of um, it's a peachish brownish shade, and I'll swatch it on my finger for you guys. It's very, very smooth, very silky. I hope the camera's picking that up because um, my lighting is an absolute disaster. I'll just do another swatch, so hopefully you'll get it. Now, I have an absolute ass load of this on me, but because um, my lighting here kind of sucks, you're not really getting the full effect of it, but it is a gorgeous colour and I'm really enjoying wearing it. And it was given to me by my very good friend on here, Faith. She's a sweetheart. So I have been loving this. Lip combo of the month, the lip sort of combination that I've been getting a lot of enjoyment out of. Starts with a base, which is the Avon Plumping Lip. I'm not exactly sure. It's got no colour to it. It's, it's supposed to be a plumping lip treatment. That's it. Lip treatment. Very good colour. Very good. It's got no colour, but it does moisturise your lips. I'm enjoying it. My lipstick of choice this month, and this has been on me more, more times than not, is by Estee Lauder. The colour is, it's the pure, pure colour crystal cream in Crystal Baby. Here's a swatch of it. It's a peachy nude. Absolutely gorgeous colour, lads really enjoying this. I like it. It's one of the most, if not the most, moisturizing lipstick I have ever encountered in my 40 years of life. Then over top of that, I'm just going to have to fix the settings on this because this thing keeps jumping around like nobody's business, like a kangaroo on speed. Yeah, I hate that. The lip gloss I'm wearing over it is, now, peachy nudes, it's kind of on my skin tone, probably whatever way it settles on my skin colour, it settles a kind of a peachy sort of a colour, peachy, more on the peach side. So I've been topping it off with a MAC Dazzle Glass in Baby Sparks, just to add a little bit of pink to it. Uh, this is nearly gone, so this is nearly gone. I have been absolutely loving that. Now, the fragrances I have been loving this month, I have a lovely fragrance here that I'm going to share with you. just really rustle it out of my work purse. This is Chloe, the original Chloe. Now, I absolutely love this. 
I'm just going to spritz a little bit on me. I'll tell you what it reminds me of. I don't know if any of you ever uh, heard of Givenchy Isatis. It kind of reminds me of that, but it's not as harsh as that. Um, when you put it on first, it's very strong and it hits your nose like a nuclear warhead. But after it dries down, it dries down to a kind of a, f a musky sort of flavor of scent to it. It's, it. it's a lovely perfume. I'm really enjoying it. I've been wearing it a lot to work and I've been wearing it around a lot. So that's my fragrance of the month. And uh, should we call it arm candy of the month is... My guest handbag. Which I've had for a while and which I love. I mm, guest handbag. And that's my arm candy of the month. Um, I'm trying to think of anything else so I, I would show you. No. There's nothing else that's really stood out. Now this foundation is, I'm really enjoying this. I have um, normal to dry skin. It's, well, no, uh, to be honest with you, my skin is about as cantankerous as a baby's arse after it's had. After, if you had given your baby a crack load of duflac. <laughs> Seriously. It's dry all around here, around the peripherals, dry down the middle, and normal everywhere else. And I have a little dry patches just around here. I don't know if it's acquired through age or if it's just whatever. But it's kind of dry around here, just by my ears, down along to here. Then it's oily on the chin, oily on the nose, oily on the forehead, and it's normal everywhere else. And it's a pain in the arse because you don't know what sort of products to be buying for yourself. But I bought this foundation uh, thinking. Maybe it's something like Vita Lumiere from uh, Chanel, which I had previously used and loved. And, uh, well, I'll be posting a review, so wait for that, guys, because trust me, this foundation, I'm, I'm, I'm enjoying it. So this is my face of the day. I have on Wake Me Up by Women in 103. I have my Skin Finish Translucent by Essence. I have my Jane Blush, Crystal Baby on the lips with the dazzle grass and baby sparks on top. My eyeliner, which I didn't bring out to show you because it really isn't a favourite of the month, but it's okay, it's a nice eyeliner, is by uh, Dempsey, I can't think of her first name, Dempsey. Uh, she does, just, it's an Avon product in just brown. I have no mascara on, my eyebrows are a disgrace, which is why my bangs are down. I'm trying to hide my furry eyebrows, I'm trying to grow them out, lads, I'm telling you. Hair loss is a bugger. Uh, I've no jewellery. My nails are the remnants of gold kind by Revlon. I have to repaint them for work tomorrow night. My scarf is out of Primark, pennies as we call it here in Ireland. Uh, my t-shirt is from New Look. It's just a baggy t-shirt. I didn't, I wasn't really dressing up today, kind of casually wear. Okay, on the bottom half of me, I'm wearing a pair of just baggy jeans from Pace Best, nine euro. Hello. I have my Reebok Easy Tone trainers. These are the new ones. Uh, my old ones are the very same. I got these ones of my parents, my mum and dad, for Christmas. I ha I got when I said I was going to get a pair, another pair. I just went off. And I got the very same pair that I had previously again. And I know that people think that's a bit OCD of you, but um, they've never hurt my feet. I can walk for six months in them without any discomfort whatsoever. They're, I love them. So I said bye bye. The same type of runner in a different colour, could be different material, like that. You, you just, you don't know. I tend to just be a creature of habit. If I find something that works, I stick with it. Which is why uh, so much of my makeup collection is unused and unloved. Right, this is my outfit of the day. Plain, simple. For anyone that's interested, the weight loss is presently at eighty-nine pounds. I was hoping to have the ninety off this week, but lads, I just my stomach is at the moment it's like a bottomless pit. I swear to God, I just can't fill it. <laughs> <laughs> that's it that's my outfit face and my hair colour if anybody's interested which I doubt is by L'Oreal it's L'Oreal Excellence Cream in 530 medium golden brown now I put it in and why I put it in 
is if you look at the roots of my hair, oh God, this video I'm rambling here, but I'm sure those of you who watch my vi videos sort of loyally won't mind too much. It's kind of a medium golden brown and the ends are black because I was using Naples by Recycle Preference, which is a black shade. And although it's grown out partially, it hasn't grown out all the way, so I've got the lighter colour at the roots and I'm just going to keep growing my hair and growing my hair and trimming it and whatever and keep putting the same colour in as it really does give excellent grey coverage and my hair feels really, really soft and sort of luxurious with this on. just really feels great. And one good thing about it is when I look, when my hair was black, because I'm like Casper's ghost and my scalp is so white, I kind of look like I was sort of half baldy because all you could see through the black was the white, the, the stark whiteness of my scalp, which had me looking in the mirror thinking, oh my God, I'm, I'm bald, I'm bald. But when I put this colour on, for some reason, the contrast, because the contrast between the, the golden brown and my scalp isn't so stark, to me it looks like I have more hair on the top. Anyway, I think that's about it, all I wanted to say, lads. I hope you like my favourites of the month. Um, I can't think of anything else. One piece of jewellery. I wasn't wearing it. And it goes really well with my outfit, my t shirt you know. Is my little bangle from uh, Pennies, which was, I believe, two euro, maybe three, but uh, two or three euro from the Primark. Anyway, my friends, I hope you're having a fabulous day and that you're healthy, you're happy, you're keeping well, staying cool. At the moment, it is freezing here in Ireland. I'm telling you, it's freezing bulldogs. It was minus seven this morning, and this is something we don't see in this country very often. I thought it would snow, but it didn't, thank God. So I hope you're keeping well and that you're happy and healthy and that everything's rosy in your garden because it's rosy in my garden. So have a lovely day. God bless you all. Cheerio. Thanks for watching.